Hi, this is Erin from Flight. I'm excited today to show you how we recreate an original BMX pad set. Maybe you've picked up a bike at the swap meet that you're restoring. Maybe you had a set of pads like this on your bike when you were a kid and now you want to put some on your bike. Whatever it is, we'll help you get the perfect pad set. We'll start with our concept. We are going to recreate this original pad set. Then we'll start by digitizing the art. That'll let us retain the hand-drawn look of the original, but let us put it on the computer so we can make any changes we want, maybe change the layout a bit to um, fit a different size pad for a newer bike, maybe make some, some adjustments to the original or color changes, whatever it is, digitizing lets us do that. Next, we're going to make films for each color in the design. To do that, we have a clear film and we've changed the colors to black and we're gonna use that to make screens. We'll use those um, positive negative images to go through an exposure process similar to developing film in an old camera and we'll use it to create a screen for each color in the design. Next, we'll cut our material. These are nylon pads that we are cutting the same way as we did in the 80s. We die cut them so that we get a really precise cut and a very consistent result. Next, we're going to screen our colors by hand. Uh, this is the same way we did it back in the 80s. And uh, we screen each color and let them dry in between. Here are our finished prints drying. And once they're dry, we'll take them over to sewing. We'll add the Velcro, turn them into actual pads. Um, one thing you'll notice is we have added a tag inside of them that you can tell by the tag inside if you're looking at an original pad set or a reproduction pad set. Some of the reproductions actually come out so close to the originals that it's really hard to tell. Um, with a well-preserved original. So we put those tags in so it's easy to distinguish the old ones from the new ones. Here's our completed pad set. I love the way this turned out. The colors are really bright. We were able to retain the hand-drawn look on the shield and in the Azusa logo. Um, we were able to, because we digitized it, we were able to put the, the placement just exactly where we wanted it. Um, really happy with how this came out. And there you go. Now that makes the finishing touch to your bike. Um, pads, we do them in all kinds of different colors. And we also do them for lots of different bike companies. So if you're looking for the perfect accessory, you can get more information on uh, pre-made pads at flightbmx.com. Or if you're looking for custom pads, you can contact the company that you uh, want your pad set made from and have them contact us. Or if you want some custom pads, you can go to flightcrosssports.com.